for all your ultimate team coin needs, check out utcoinsforyou.com. There will be a link in the description, and if you use the code CHEZ, you can get yourself a 5% discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with another episode of the Interactive Road to Division 1 series where you guys pick the teams that we play with heading through those ranked divisions looking for that Division 1 title. Now unfortunately YouTube decided to cut off the end of the previous video. We did in fact end up losing the game with Brazil against Real Madrid 4-2. So we currently sit on 3 points, no 4 points in uh, in Division 4 as we stand. So uh, we're looking for better today and if we, were, we weren't able to find a game with India in the previous episode. So I tried again today. And I tried time after time after time to try and get a game with India and it just would not pair me with anyone despite how loosely I set the uh, the search criteria. So unfortunately I'm just not going to be able to use India guys. I really do apologise to those of you that were hell-bent on me using them because they're one of the worst teams on the game. But uh, it's not going to be it's not going to be feasible I'm afraid. So uh, the first team that we actually are able to play a game with is Bayer Leverkusen, the German side. Doing okay in Germany this season domestically. Of course Bayern Munich are running away with a the title there. But we're coming up against Stad René, a half-decent French side. Of course, they've got Ola Tovenen up top, who recently had an inform last week. Uh, they've got Alessandrini on the wi out wide at, uh, at left mid, who's extremely fast. But we've got fast players of our own up top with uh, Andres Guardado on loan from Valencia. And, of course, Sydney Sam out wide on the right-hand side as well. And I played Sun up top as striker rather than uh, Stefan Kiesling because I find that he's uh, a more effective player. I don't really get on very well with Stefan Kiesling. But uh, we came so close to going 1-0 up there. The header from the corner comes back off the post. And uh, Gonzalo Castro was literally just about to side foot it into the back of the net to give us a 1-0 lead. And, unfortunately, he was half a yard offside. So we weren't able to take the lead. But we're going to get another chance here. Sydney Sam's play through over the top. Doesn't have that good a first touch and unfortunately has to take the shot first time after that, after that and uh, isn't able to get a decent shot away. But uh, we push it further on into the second half. But before we uh, before we continue, before I forget, the guys that are selected by Leverkusen were Charlie Payne, Bryce Henry and Kronkulis. So thank you to you guys for uh, for suggesting by Leverkusen. We're going to get another chance with Andres Guardado. I even settle myself just before I take this shot. Try and find the bottom corner and somehow the goalkeeper sticks out a big giant curly toe and is able to uh, to keep the ball out from going into the back of the net. And unfortunately we still aren't 1-0 up in this game after piling on the pressure. Chance after chance after chance. Going to get another one here. Son gets a nice turn on the defender but the angle just isn't quite quite right for the shot. He was kind of running away from goal rather than uh, kind of parallel to it to uh, to get the shot across goal and I couldn't quite pull it back across far enough to uh, to get a decent shot on target and it was it an easy save for the goalkeeper. Then after all of our pressure in the first half, Toivonen goes up the other end and puts him 1-0 up in uh, in first half stoppage time. Fuming. I could not believe that I was not winning this game. And then in the second half, the players that we'd been using, well, there wasn't really much squad depth, so I had to keep the same 11 on the field. And they just were nowhere near as effective in the second half as they tied. That was the only opportunity we were able to create. And unfortunately, despite not deserving to, we actually lose the game 1-0. I was so annoyed that I hadn't won that game. But we were hoping for better in the second game. A team of uh, current interest, you might say, because, of course, they beat Manchester United in the Champions League in the week just gone. Joel Campbell is starting at right mid, the guy that scored their second on loan from Arsenal. Scored a very, very good goal against Man United after nutmegging Michael Carrick. But we're coming up against Celtic. Now, we've used Celtic before and uh, we actually if we actually forced the uh, the opposition to uh, to rage quit. So I was hoping that uh, he wasn't going to do the same to me in uh, in this game. But actually, this guy was phenomenal. He clearly was uh, a Celtic fan or clearly used Celtic more often than not, because he knew exactly how to play with this set of players. The 11 wasn't the uh, the default 11. He clearly set about picking a side that he knew he could play with best, was at his most effective with, and uh, we had to rely on the goalkeeper time and time again. Roberto, the Spanish uh, the Spanish goalkeeper in this one, so many times to, uh, to keep him out in this first half. You'll be able to see from the highlights, it really is all him in the first half. And again, Roberto has to make a save and we scramble it clear. And uh, Olympiacos, I struggle to get on with them, to be completely honest. The uh, the I honestly first half I had no chances whatsoever, nothing. Then into the second half, he again was going to come very very close to getting in front. There we had to rely on Roberto to snatch the ball away from Scott Brown's feet. And this next chance, he was actually going to get the ball into the back of the net, but. Considering I've phrased it in that particular way, you'll be able to tell that the goal isn't going to count. As the cross comes in, up goes Anthony Stokes, pops the ball into the top of the corner. And uh, unfortunately for them, though, he is offside. But quickly, thank you to Cronculus, uh, Timmy Curran, Joe MUFC, Ackman Badafra, Kevin Jantz, Mr. FIFA 14, Charlie Payne, our good old friend NTBSVRFD, 
And uh, my favourite uh, username that we've seen so far is Murder on Zidane's Floor. So uh, I was trying not to, uh, to kill the groove in this one, but unfortunately we weren't able to sneak a winner there through uh, Javier Zaviola. He was able to, uh, to put a block in. And this is the sort of football that he was playing all game long. It's just quick one-two passing, and I just could not cope. Fortunately, that time we were able to, uh, to snuff out the opportunity with a loose pass, but we do somehow manage to get a point out of that game. But uh, after... Deserving a win from the first one and getting nothing from it. We deserved nothing from this one but got something from it. We pick up a point against Celtic. A thoroughly undeserved point. But the final game is as Sunderland. And uh, we're coming into this one thanks to suggestions from Nick Wood and AAJM12345. So uh, plenty of original usernames so far. But uh, Marseille are a team that we've played against rather than as so far in the, in this series, we came up against him as Real Sociedad, and uh, we actually again enforced a rage quit against the guy. Uh, if you remember, it was the guy that was uh, was actually jabbering on in French. And then when he rage quit, he kind of went bye bye uh, just before he left. I I can't remember whether I left that audio in or not, but. Uh, it's just absolutely cracked me up just uh, remembering that. But anyway, we uh, we come close here with Adam Johnson. Lovely effort from distance on his left foot. And unfortunately, just flies past that far left corner. But Johnson was the main threat for me going forward. And I played Scott Cho up front because uh, he's not necessarily seen the, the most amount of uh, first-team football for Sunderland IRL. Kieran Westwood here, by the way, makes a triple save to keep him out. Absolutely unbelievable goalkeeping from Kieran Westwood. I was so, so lucky not to go 1-0 down. But uh, yeah, Sunderland, were, I used Scotto, and uh, again, Kieran Westwood makes that save, actually. That went out for a corner, nothing came of it, so uh, we won't see it. But Scotto played up top, rather than Jersey Altador, Stephen Fletcher, because he he's more suited to my style of play. And I've seen a couple of people like Lasty in Fuji 720p uh, use him as kind of like uh, an underrated like Crespo wannabe, or you know the cheap Crespo, or cheap Messi, or something of, uh, of those or something along those lines. And he was going to come very, very close to winning us the game late on here. Lee Catmull is going to play the ball into him. Plays a nice 1-2 with Adam Johnson. Like I say, Johnson was a main threat for us. Gorgeous lofted through ball to, uh, to Scott. So keeper comes out. He lofts it and it just won't dip enough. Comes back off the bar. The defender pauses... After uh, after taking the touch, and I thought, is he going to score an own goal? Was he controlled it out or something? But unfortunately, it didn't. And again, we only take a point from the game. But again, it probably wasn't a game that we deserve to lose, but it wasn't a game that we deserve to win. So three games in this one, two points, but uh, no goals. It's uh, not the. Uh, I think it's the first time that has actually happened. We haven't scored a single goal in any of the three games. But at the halfway stage in Division Four, we uh, we are five points. It's just it's not good enough so far. We need need five more points to uh, to survive. There are available 15 points left, so we can still win the title. But I think the promotion is the main aim. We still need 11 points from the remaining five games. So it's all still to do in Division Four. So leave me a comment down below. Which team should I use next in next week's episode? Do let me know. If you missed the previous episode, there's a link to it on screen on the left hand side as an annotation. Please feel free to leave the video a like as well if you could be so kind. Of course, the new career mode will be starting on Monday, and there is another episode of the new Ultimate Team series coming out later on this evening home from home with Gianfranco Zola so do be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already to make sure that you don't miss out on that and your sub box is around about seven o'clock tonight so thank you very much for watching guys that's all for uh, for this afternoon and uh, I will see you later on today